Hey man, what do you got in the box? What? What are you talking to me? What do you want to see in my box for? Oh, come on man, show me what's in there. What do you got in there, huh? 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 Show me in that box. What's wrong with you? Okay, let's take a look. And we'll go ahead and pull this out. Now normally the shovel lives inside there, but my uh, off-road gear is growing and I'm losing space for things like recovery gear. So at some point I'm probably gonna have to figure out how to reorganize this, but let's go ahead and take a look. So here we go, this is the off-road bin. And what we have in here is electrical tape that can save your butt sometimes. This is a kinetic rope. This is just a cheaper one off of Amazon. Um, if anybody's looking at this particular brand, this thing's held up really well. Um, we've pulled out some heavy trucks with some heavy trucks and it is held up really well so far. We've got a tree saber strap. Some, this is kind of just like a little box full of random electrical parts. So. Um, let's see what else we got. Another set of gloves. It's always good to have some gloves. Things get greasy and dirty sometimes. Um, my propane attachment. This is really nice to have. I mean, you can start a fire with it if you need to. Spare oil funnel. A set of jumper cables because you never know when you're going to need those. This is a tire patch kit. I think this is also an Amazon special. But... It doesn't have to be great, it just has to work to get you off the trail. That's kind of my general philosophy. So as long as these are able to patch up a hole, which by the looks of everything it should. So some instructions, a handful of patches, a core tool, and some extra cores. This is some like lube for the um, reamer, and of course you got the applicator. And, the, and then the two big ticket items, we've got the Smitty Built Compressor, um, which we can go ahead and pull that open and take a quick look at it. And then this is just a tool bag. And this is a pretty new addition, so I'm still trying to figure it out, but let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick. Okay, so this is the whole setup kind of opened up here. Now this part, this did not come with the bag. This is just some other random little bag that I found floating around in my garage. <laughs> I think it's actually something that came with uh, like the stroller or the car seat or something silly like that. Um, but it seemed to work well for what I needed it for. But to start off with, it's got these pouches. So you got one, two, three main pouches. You've got like a tool roll section that fits inside here too. And then two smaller pouches. Now all of these unvelcro. So if you just need one pouch somewhere, you can just unvelcro the pouch and take it with you. And I have it set up to where there's like, you know, sockets and wrenches in one and or sockets and a ratchet in one, wrenches in another, kind of my bigger tools. And I think this is all like screwdrivers and pliers, but let's go ahead and take a look. So I tend to carry way too much stuff on me. So I have 60% of my toolbox probably in here. And it's just a whole mess of various sizes of sockets. Um, got half inch and three eighths ratchets, various different extensions, some adapters with half inch, just kind of random stuff like that. That set up. And here is all of my um, wrenches. And then got some zip ties because zip ties are super handy. Uh, I think that should actually be in a different bin. But so we got like some hand Allen wrenches. That also should be over there. Uh, some hand Allen wrenches, um, ratcheting wrenches, and then just standard combination wrenches. Um, in this one right here, we've got various screwdrivers and um, side cutters and uh, some slip joint pliers, snap ring pliers, um, wire pliers, things like that. So just kind of your basic hand tools. And in here we've got... What do we got there? See, that's its own separate little pouch. I keep a ball peen hammer there. And this 
So it's just kind of a basic tool roll and all I've got in here is a pry bar, big old crescent wrench, and a breaker bar. So pretty simple. And then in these two pouches, we just have kind of like random things. So there's some like silicone, plumber's tape, more electrical tape, and I think we got like a marker or something in there. You just never, I think I come, I think I come way over prepared, but I'd rather have too much stuff than not enough. And then this one is some hardware. So a couple of U-bolts some spacers and a handful of various bolts. I'll probably put a little bit extra stuff in there um, as I kind of trim down and refine what I need in here. And then the reason I needed to add this one is because I wanted to be able to take some like bigger half inch stuff with me. So we've got um, sockets that'll fit on some of the um, bigger nuts on the front axle and stuff like that. So essentially just a pouch for half inch drive stuff. So just bigger sockets. Now I'll probably go through the truck at a different time and, and kind of figure out exactly what I do and don't need. Um, like what am I gonna actually attempt to do on the trail? But I figure it's better to have too much at the moment than not enough. And then that all rolls together nicely and was fairly compact. Um, it's definitely still a little bit bigger than I want, but I think that's mostly because I have a hard time saying no to tools. Okay, and this is the Smitty Belt. Um, I forget which one this one actually is, but it's like the one with 5.62 CFM or something like that. Um, seems like it's pretty popular at the moment and has incredibly mixed reviews. I decided to take a chance on it because of the price and um, because of some of the reviews I read. If you just do a few modifications and it can be pretty awesome. So I've been using it in completely stock form. It's still got the original hose, which this hose is not very good, but it's held up so far. And as nice as it is to screw this thing onto the valve stem, it's still kind of a pain in the butt at the same time. But it does work, and that's all that really matters for the most part. Um, and then you see it just clamps right onto the battery. So I've used this thing for the last year or so, and have had relatively no issues with it. Um, it does have some weird pressure stuff sometimes, but pretty much it's been pretty bulletproof. Um, I do intend on doing a splitter and going over to standard hose. And I think that's gonna help quite a bit with the longevity of it. And supposedly if you set it up to run two tires at the same time, it can air them up almost at the same pace. So we're gonna definitely try that at some point, but this is the Smitty Built Compressor that I chose to use and I've been pretty dang happy with it so far. All right, there you go. You guys uh, got to see inside my box. Well, if you have anything to say about that, go ahead and throw it in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions on things I should add, change, do different, uh, comment on how you all run your setups, I'd love to hear about it. And then don't forget to give us a giant thumbs up and uh, we will catch you on the next one.